Uh, yeah, and Westerberg obviously has been the key here all the all to this entire time. The question I think was, you know, we do investigators, but looking around Weiser. One of the channels on YouTube um, was showing a CBS special news report for when Comey testified. So that was, I don't know. I don't remember what year that, that was. Um, and the chair of the committee that was taking his testimony, and I think it was Senate, Senate committee, was uh, Senator Richard Burr, B-U-R-R. -R. Anyway, um, I was laying down, I was just going to listen to it, but I noticed how much he sounded like G.W. Bush, his voice. So I got halfway up watching TV. He looks kind of like Bush too, G.W. Bush. So it's possible Richard Burr, who would be a Republican, because Republicans had the Senate at that time. B-U-R-R. -R. The name of the colonel, the Air Force colonel, who ran the ROTC program that I was part of for a semester uh, at the University of Miami, was also named Burr, Colonel Burr. I think he was a lieutenant colonel at that time, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, he... Uh, lived at Knob Hill with his wife Nina and his two kids I think uh, like 16, 17 or something anyway uh, I've talked about this before well actually I don't know if I've talked about it on video I wrote a letter to my former friend Todd Denning who's Air Force ask, asking him you know shouldn't colonels have ethics you know like doesn't the Air Force require certain kinds of ethics in the personal lives of their the Air Force people, but especially colonel level or lieutenant colonel level? Anyway, um, Burr, uh, after a semester at the University of Miami, my grade point, second semester of my first year, my grade point average was 3.75. And, um, the whole reason I joined ROTC is because Burr had recommended to Harry uh, for me to join ROTC and then um, see how my grades went and then I could be offered a scholarship for the rest of undergraduate classes and then for medical school. Uh, and then probably internship and residency, I'm not sure. But anyway, my grade point average, like I said, was 3.75 at the end of my first year, Burr called me, Colonel Burr called me into his office on the Roxy building, which is on campus, and he offered me a medical school scholarship. And he was explaining it and describing it. He told me they'd pay for the rest of my undergrad, they'd pay for medical school and whatever, and that I would owe the Air Force here for a year after that. So I was. 19, I think. Let's see, I would have been 19. Anyway, I did the math. I wouldn't be... I could have been 20. Let me think. Uh, the only time I ever had a 375 for a year was my first year. But anyway, I would have been 34 years old by the time my uh, involvement with the Air Force would have been completed, you know? Um, and it was like overwhelming. But then one of the things he said to me was, uh, <clears throat> you know, you're a woman, you're lucky. All you have to do to get out of your commitment is get pregnant. I thought, jeez, I don't know. That just didn't land right. Anyway, I guess I probably didn't give him an answer just then, but my answer was no. Because I was so young and committing myself until I was 34 years old, it was I, just, I was too young to make a commitment like that. Um, but Burr could be related to the Richard Burrs, who could be related to the Bushes, 
G.W. Bush Bushes. Um, Burr was a smallish man. Um, I don't remember his face that much. I don't recall that he looked like G.W. Bush or Richard Burr too much or anything like that. Um, but he also had a terrible ethical problem. He left his wife Nina for a woman who lived at Knob Hill who had just had a baby with her husband. <coughs> I think they met on the tennis courts or something. <coughs> she and her, her and her husband <coughs> lived in what I believe was no it wasn't E building shit. It was the same building by the J building pool that Ellen lived in. Probably C. I don't know. I always thought it was the E, but Dan lived in the E building. Dan the Liberté. Anyway, she left her husband. They had an infant son or an infant child. I'm sorry, I don't know the sex. And they took off. And I don't know. They stayed. They got together. They moved in together right away. I don't know if they got married or what happened. But you know that was. That's a breach of ethics. Uh, you know, like, I know that the FBI school, to become an FBI agent, you have to have good credit. And the reason is so you won't be blackmailable. So, if to become an FBI agent, you have to give it good credit, you'd think to be a colonel in the Air Force, you'd have to conduct yourself in your personal life in a decent manner. And it was quite a to-do, you know. Anyway, his wife Nina got a job with Fruit Bowl when I worked there. And she became friends with Rhoda right away. And, uh... She used to talk about, you know, her husband leaving her and this and this and this and this. I, the whole thing made me uncomfortable. Um, somehow, I have my UM transcripts. I sent away from, I think, I, I'd had them after college, but I sent away for a new set when I lived in Stanton, Virginia, I think. Anyway, um, I scanned it and put it on the internet, and I noticed on the, I don't have the original anymore, I noticed that, um, ROTC class had been removed from my transcript. Now, I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. Photoshop? I don't know. Anyway, um, so, the Air Force didn't want me to have any proof of being connected to them, but I was in Marazzi, you know. Uh, it was classes and marching and a uniform. I have to change my uniform. I think it was once a week. So I'd use one of the restrooms on campus to change my Air Force uniform with their really ugly shoes. And um, there was a young man, I don't remember his first name, but he was really cute and all of us had a crush on All us girls had a crush on him. But um, he moved into Knob Hill later too. I wrote somewhere about an incident. Um, I was just walking along the outer edge of the pool, and he and his girlfriend were walking along on the other side of the pool, and I had just attempted suicide and stuff like that. So it was after I had temporarily quit school. Um, they both looked at me and laughed, and they were snickering and all that. And it was like, you know, it was, I, I was humiliated. Because everything about my life had gone south. And then this guy who, I don't even think I ever had a conversation with him. He was just cute. And his girlfriend just, <laughs> that kind of thing to me. And I remember when I read the Apostle Paul's words, um, something about, uh, Children of God, know the taste of humiliation. 
I thought of that moment. Um, but, uh, Paul wanted me to get that on record. The whole thing about Burr now that Burr could have been related, could be related to Bush, the Bush family. 